Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain what the symbol R means in organic molecules. So R represents an alkyl group. So what is an alkyl group? An alkyl group is a molecular fragment made from the removal of a hydrogen atom from an alkane. So let's look at this example right here. We have the carbon halogen bond where the halogen is represented by X. So what is our, what is our R in this case? So we have the compound fluoromethane or methyl fluoride. And if we look at the definition for alkyl group, it says molecular fragment made from the removal of a hydrogen atom from an alkane. So our alkane in this case is methane. And if we follow the definition, we'll remove a hydrogen. So now that we have a methyl group. And if we look over here, here is our R, CH3. So that is what our R is in this example. Let's look at a different one. So, structures containing multiple alkyl groups use primes. So that could be prime one or a double prime. I'm not sure if it's triple prime, but I know there's a prime and a double prime. So what does the prime mean? It indicates a different alkyl group. So, ROR is a symmetrical ether. So look at this example right here. Here's our ether, COC. And if we look on each side of the O, the oxygen, we have a CH2 and a CH2, which is also connected to CH3. So they are symmetrical. They, are both, they both have the same R group. So that is what is meant by just having the same R on both sides. So in the next one, we have an asymmetrical ether indicating that that R prime group is just a different alkyl group. So right here, we have ethyl methyl ether. So this oxygen is connected to a methyl group right here. We have a CH4. However, on the other side, our CH4, I'm sorry, that is a CH3. This oxygen is connected to a CH2, which is connected to a CH3. As you can see, the R groups are different on each side. So we have a methyl group over here and we have an ethyl group over here. So how do we get that ethyl group? Well, let's look at our alkane. And if we follow the definition for alkyl groups, which it says molecular fragment made from the removal of a hydrogen atom from an alkane. So let's go to ethane. We'll remove a hydrogen atom. And now we can see we have CH2, CH3, which is our R. So that is what is meant by that R symbol in organic molecules. If we had a R double prime, that would just mean we would have three different uh, alkyl groups that are not the same. So I hope this video helped. If you have any other questions, just comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them.